Welcome to MIT Lab for Education and Application Prototypes, or MIT LEAP, which is a part of AIM Photonics Academy. Our charter is to educate students and incumbent company employees as we prepare them for the next generation jobs in integrated photonics. This MIT LEAP is the first of many LEAPs across the I-90 corridor all the way from Boston to Rochester, New York. The I-90 partnership is a broad coalition consisting of several groups. The capital investment for the LEAPs is funded by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and operation is supported by research and industry prototyping activities. The LEAPs have two main goals. One is demonstration of prototypes, which shows initial proof of manufacturing. And the second is creation of high-tech integrated photonic jobs. Larger scale manufacturing will be done by the nanofabrication facility at SUNY Polytechnic Institute in Albany, and also by the test and packaging facilities in Rochester, New York. MIT LEAP will focus on packaging of integrated photonic components, and we welcome you to MIT LEAP. The MIT LEAP consists of many pieces of cutting edge equipment essential to packaging photonic circuits. Typically, the process begins with the Nordson plasma cleaner, which uses ionized gas to remove all organic matter from the surface of a chip or a substrate. Different materials require different cleaning processes or recipes, and to select the right one for your material, you can go to the recipe editor on the front of the machine. Here, you can change parameters including power, duration, and the kind of gas that is used for cleaning. Evacuate the chamber to remove any contaminants which might oxidize the sample during the plasma cleaning process. When the chamber is sufficiently evacuated, the plasma kicks in. Different gases produce different colors during the process. In this case, we're using argon, which produces a light purple color. After the plasma cleaning cycle is done, run the vacuum cycle again to remove the remaining gas. At this point, parts are free of surface contaminants. The next step is to use the MRSI dye bonding tool to attach a dye or a chip to the substrate. This is an automated high-speed machine with an accuracy of three micrometers. It can pick up dyes place them on a printed circuit board, and bond them with epoxy. It can also be programmed using pattern recognition. The machine dispenses epoxy on the substrate, picks up a dye, and places it on the substrate, and gently pushes down to ensure a firm bond. Curing the epoxy can be done in this machine, or we use a vacuum reflow oven, which can heat up to about 400 degrees Celsius. The thermal cycles required for curing will vary based on the kind of epoxy and the device you're working with. A typical soldering reflow procedure may include a ramp to soak temperature, soak, ramp to peak, reflow at peak temperature, and finally cooling. The parameters that we can edit are temperature and time along with the gas and chemicals used in the curing process. Once the dye is fixed to the printed circuit board, it's ready for wire bonding. After placing the chip under the microscope, turn on the hot plate. Heating the substrate makes it easier for bonds to form. Next, turn on the bonder and use the joystick to maneuver the tool towards the center of the bond pad. Lower the tool and you will hear a clicking sound. The head of the bond is now formed. After the first end of the wire is attached, 
create a loop and form a second bond on the substrate. Repeat the process for the next wires. Once wire bonding is complete, we use the Mitutoyo automatic microscope to visually inspect or take precision measurements of the parts. Turn on the recipe editor on the computer and write a recipe for the task. The inspection program allows the machine to find the pattern on the substrate using automatic pattern recognition, take measurements, and record images automatically. Finally, to make sure there are no voids or cavities in the circuit board and wire bonds, we inspect them using X-ray imaging. Different materials require different levels of energy to penetrate the chip and form images. So adjust the energy dose accordingly. If you choose the automatic X-ray inspection program, the machine will take measurements and record images automatically. We at the MIT LEAP facility look forward to working with you to help meet your prototyping needs, including photonic and electronic component packaging. Our photonic characterization tools, which are part of a LEAP network, are located in a nearby lab in MIT and can be used to track component performance throughout this prototyping process. Welcome to AIM Photonics Academy's LEAP facility at MIT.